Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I own the Water Filter eStore and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about water softener installations and specifically we're talking about making the connection from the drain line from the water softener to your household plumbing. Now this is part of a series of uh, videos on water softener installation and this would be universal no matter what type of water softener you're, you're installing. Now according to most plumbing codes uh, you cannot connect the drain line from a water softener directly to um, a waste line from a household uh, plumbing system. You need to maintain an air gap. So there's a number of ways of doing that. Probably the easiest way to do it would be to run it into a laundry sink. Just maintain that inch and a half air gap above the flood water rim of the laundry sink and uh, you're good to go. If you do that, just be careful. You don't put any jeans or soak some clothes in there overnight and then suddenly uh, put a stopper in the sink and then you would have a flood the next morning. So you just have to make sure you, you, you watch for that. You can also drain it into a, a sump hole. You can uh, drain it to a, a floor drain. Um, all of those would work. You can also drain it to a special fitting that maintains an air gap. So a special fitting would be this one, one like this one here, an air gap fitting. And uh, so this has a, a fitting on the top where the drain line gets connected to, onto here. And, uh, and then once you've positioned it correctly, then this fitting would be uh, glued in place. That's uh, very important. So how these work is if you have a vertical drain line, let's say there's a uh, kitchen above near where the water softener is being installed and you've got a, a, a line running vertically um, then you can cut into that and then put in a p-trap like this and this special fitting air gap would go on the top like that. It can also be used for a, um, uh, a laundry stack uh, beside a laundry tub um, but this can also be used horizontally so if you have a, um, a horizontal pipe then you would position it like this, um, running across and with the air gap here. So that's another way that you can do that. If you're um, connecting uh, not a water softener but an FOC or an FOB and air on media type uh, iron or sulfur filter, this is actually a better solution than uh, running it uh, with the uh, air gap to the laundry sink. So this is a fitting that you could put together for um, maintaining the air gap to a, a floor type drain or you could use it to just remove these parts here. Whoops. You could use it like this um, if you're using it for a laundry tub. And then, like I say, this fitting here, it would be a way of securing it to the wall. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified about all the new videos they become available on our channel. And you can also check out the well over 100 videos on there with lots of water treatment information. For more information, you can go to our website at thewaterfiltereastore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.